Hi everybody, today I'm going to make a video, an uh, instructional video explaining how to adjust the low reverse band on your 47 RE, RH, or 48 RE transmission. We get this inquiry a lot, so I'm making a video for you guys to follow how to do it. Alright, so here's the procedure to adjust the low band. You're going to get a 14 millimeter, and you're going to back off the lock nut right here. Loose, oops, ratchet fell out. Loosen that up. And then you're gonna back that nut off so you've got enough threads that you could run this, this center stud in. Um, this is a quarter inch socket. I like to just run it in with the ratchet first and then, then I'll get my torque wrench out. Uh, quarter inch drive torque wrench set to 72 inch pounds. There we go. And then what we're gonna do for an automatic valve body is we're gonna back this low band off three turns. One, two, three. And after that, we're gonna lock that lock nut down. Boom, done. That's your automatic adjustment. When I do a manual valve body, I back this center stud off anywhere from two to two and a half turns. Uh, some things that come into play that change that spec is if it's a new band or if it's a different servo, um, you're gonna have different amounts of free play when you back it off. What I shoot for on a manual is a quarter inch of play. And if you're installing a new band on the transmission, set it tight because a new band is definitely going to stretch, uh, especially the Raybestos bands. The Mopar bands are a little bit better. They don't like to stretch as much, but um, like I said, definitely set on the tighter side if it's a new band. I've had them go out of adjustment, pulling them out of my shop. Uh, so that's how you adjust the low band on the 47 RE, RH, and 48 RE units. And that concludes this video.